Everspace 2 is the newest game coming from Rockfish Games. Now, it's currently on its Kickstarter. This is going to be a little while of a wait before we actually get it in our hands. But as you can see here, it's a absolutely stunning looking game. This is the uh, Kickstarter uh, page. We're going to have a look at the game itself in just a moment because Rockfish were kind enough to send it over to me the current demo of the game. Now the demo is the one that they were using at Gamescom and the other recent gaming conventions and even in this very early prototype form there's plenty of gameplay there to be getting on with and it certainly gives us a good indication of what to expect from the game. Now the developers have a goal here of £388,000 and they are currently at 294 so they are getting there but they do have just four days to go. Now Kickstarter is certainly a bit of a controversial subject nowadays so I'm certainly not telling everyone to go out and back this game, but uh, you know, if you are interested in a space game, if you are interested in a vast open world combat shooter, then do go have a look at this page. There's a bunch of information here that is pretty interesting to say the least, and we'll give you an indication as to what the game's all about. And if you do want to show some support, if you do want to get involved, then the option is there for you. And as you can see on the pledge page here, the delivery is oh, December 2021, that's for the full release, and for September 2020, as the game will go into early access. And yes, that is planetary surfaces you can see there. There is going to be a plenty of surface action on these uh, games. And that looks pretty nice as well. Unfortunately, it's not a part of the current demo build though. Talking of the demo, let's jump in and have a second look. So one thing we should point out right up front is that Everspace 2 is a dramatically different game to the original. This one is no longer a roguelike right here, it is an open world space game. We can dock here at a space station, this one is our home base, where we have got other ships which we can actually swap out to if we want. And we've got storage where we can store all our items or uh, from our cargo, we actually get a cargo hold here. There's other items as well, the management not available in this particular build, as well as the star chart. Now the star chart shows our current star system, you can see the central sun right there, we'll actually fly all the way over there and have a visit of them in a minute. And we've got other locations as well, so the home base where we're at now, Outlaw Turf, we've got a trading station over near another planet there, this is a ring-like planet you'll see over in the distance in just a moment, and we've also got a bunch of other locations scattered around this particular star system. Now as we zoom out you can see the other stars in this star cluster. These are all connected via jump gates. Now currently in this particular build, in this demo version of the game, the jump gates are not active. But eventually the idea will be that you will be able to travel to all these different star systems. At over a hundred locations I do believe will be the thing as Rockfish have stated. Uh, but that isn't just yet. Of course, the game is still on Kickstarter. I do urge you to go have a look at the Kickstarter page. Uh, Rockfish have showed they're very, very uh, capable of delivering a successful game off Kickstarter as they did with the original Everspace. Uh, it's going to go into early access. Everspace 2 is going to go into early access later on in 2020, September 2020, with a final release in 2021. And they actually did a very good early access uh, process with the first game. I spent a lot of time looking at that back during the original release. At any rate, here we are. We're flying around in uh, this open world game. And over in that distance, you can see the ringed uh, planet that we saw on the star chart a moment ago. Now, you're probably thinking we're flying a little bit slow. It's going to take a long while to get over there. We do have our uh, boost engine here. There's also another engine we got here if we hold down the f key we can go into a slightly faster uh, cruise drive but this is nowhere near fast enough to get us over to that planet which is many hundreds of thousands of kilometers away uh, we can also actually travel over to that, that star as well travel a little bit too far there right so to get to this location we just hold down the uh, c key and we'll go into faster than light travel and this is, for the most part, it feels entirely seamless. We've got the unknown location over there, as well as a trading station and a whole bunch of other unknown locations as well. The outlaw turf that we saw earlier, again, on the star map and the sun and whatnot. But we're going to head for now towards the trading station. And we're going to use the F key to just accelerate up a little bit. You can see it's over a light second away, but we're going much, much faster than that. So not too bad. Well, not quite light speed, I guess. We're somewhat below that, but 
fast enough anyway, much faster than any ships can travel nowadays, flying through that wonderful gas cloud there, that nebula type effect. And here we are at the trading station. Now, when, when we land here, you can see there is a docking pad there. The manager of the station will talk to us and we can accept a mission. We're also about to purchase various things. Oh, there's some hostiles nearby coming in. Anti-missile drones, outlaw drones. Yeah. So, yeah, I do think there's some confusion really around Everspace 2. I think some people do believe it is uh, pretty much the original game, just a improvement upon the original game as you sometimes geared but this isn't a roguelike it is an open world game which is something i'm greatly looking forward to seeing when there's more locations to visit so we can dock here and straight away the station manager you don't happen to know a cheap mechanic do you uh skip that bit sorry nothing fancy just a leaky pipe but my own guy is on holiday and the other one got plutonium flu plutonium flu well pretty sure she made that up Anyhow, that leaves me short of one mechanic. A leaky pipe is no big deal. I can fix that for you. Uh, are you? I'm okay. Just be gentle with the coating. I'm putting the location of it on your HUD. Okay, so again here we can see our cargo. We've got a shop where we can upgrade various different bits and pieces. At the moment we don't really need anything. I could do with a few new homing missiles. Oh, launcher. I'm not going to bother with that at the moment. And of course, we've got the uh, star map as well as I believe this will be a skill tree eventually because the game, well, it says missions at the top there. So it's not that, it's active missions. Not available in this ver version. Okay, but there will be a skill tree as well in the game. Essentially, it's a looter shooter in many regards with uh, your ship is essentially your character. You'll be able to upgrade it in terms of its equipment as well as give it certain perks and other abilities but for now we're here to repair the station we just got to find where that leak is it's right near the blue diamond we got that funny little gas cloud coming out of it i'm gonna head there too fast because i don't want to do any crashing here so we're gonna repair the leak and we should be done there you go done okay oh, 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 oh we're under attack what a madcap? What's a madcap doing here? Oh, I assume these guys are madcaps. We're going to take him down. Take his shield down with the energy weapons. And... Has he gone? And then our Gatling gun, our kinetic weapons, going to do the damage to the hull. Right, it is spiraling out of control there. That's his escape capsule, which we're also going to destroy. Wait, you didn't tell me you had a madcap problem? It's not that bad, just these three who occasionally pass through and steal a bit of bandwidth. They're a nuisance, but not worth the trouble. Okay. Well, one just attacked me. Let me take care of them. I thought you were a mechanic. Well, we're a mechanic, but we also can... Uh, a bit of combat as well. We're no strangers to combat. Now, Adam Roslin was, of course, also the character from the uh, original Everspace. The guy, same guy you actually uh, played. But I won't go into too much details and spoil the story there. All right, so there's one madcap over here. Let's go and get these guys. Take care of them. Destroy all madcaps hiding around the station. You can see that in the top left-hand corner of the screen there. So... Kind of a dynamic mission that changed whilst uh, it was in progress. It started out as a repair mission and become a little bit of a combat mission. Keeps things a bit more interesting, I think, doesn't it? Alright, where's the other one? Over there. We can also change out the weapons, of course. There's many different weapons in the game. And they do have a different type of tiers as well. Uh, on the shop, you'll have seen that I'm crashing here. You'll have seen that most of them had a white background, background icon. You also get the traditional green, the blue, purple, and all the rest of it, reflecting different tiers as to the quality of the item. All right, it's also got a uh, escape capsule. We we'll take them out as well. Right, these outlaw scouts are unrelated to this particular mission, and we've poked some. Holes in his station. 
probably going to want us to repair those as well. Now, I have played through this before, of course, quite a few times. It's a real fun demo. This demo was, like I say, from the recent Gamescom event, as well as some of the other game events. Now, this should be, if I remember correctly, a uh, damaged mad cap around here, which is the one I'm actually looking for. Hoping that he turns up. Let's repair these for now. Okay. Another red indication around here. Can't see it. Alright, we've got a few more leaks to do. Let's finish them off first. Four leaks. Our bullets did stray wide, didn't they? If if it's our, our bullets that have been responsible for this. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What am I doing? Right, do take care with your ship, eh? It's a nice, a nice ship, and we don't want to wreck the paint job. I was worried about the paint job of the station. I'm more worried about the paint job of my ship now. So there are some rather large ships that do turn up in the game as well. There's a jump gate just over to the right, which you also saw over there. It is inactive for this particular build, but go so how much do i owe you that's five leaks and three madcaps 1.2k should cover it he's gonna be happy isn't he right we've got a broken drone over there that's what i was hoping to see didn't do everything with this last time um so the game does have a lot of scenarios a lot of uh, different missions in it that unfold in a different way so keep in mind this is a preview build but it's reflective of what rockfish ultimately hope the game will actually be this some reason I can't target that not with the target key maybe it's because the guy's still talking right so what I'm gonna try and do here is not outright destroy this a particular drone because I want to show that there are different ways to the way missions can actually unfold. If I want to loot it, I need to stay on its tail. Damage it a little bit more. Right, so the yellow uh, indicator on the bar there is actually its uh, armor, I do believe. The red being its hull. I'm trying to be careful not to outright destroy him. Are we going to do it? Are we going to outright destroy him by accident? Come on, little dude. Right, that should do it. Whoa, that blast nearly destroyed it. Just see what happens here. If anything. Perhaps I've done a bit too much damage to it. That's a feeling I've gone a little bit too far with it. Um, you can actually follow this drone and it will lead you to a specific hidden location if you don't outright uh, wreck it as I've done here but not to worry let's, let's finish it off and be careful about staying too close because it does over oh look here we go pick up a rare laser maybe that was its home this is different to how it unfolded for me before a rare item so yeah, the idea is that missions and events within the game can unfold differently depending on how you play them. And it does give a slightly more dynamic feel to way, the way the galaxy actually uh, presents itself to the player. It makes it feel very much alive. And that's something I really do like about my space games. I think that's all of them, isn't it? 
Right, so, what do we got here? Pulse laser. Rare pulse laser. Uh, yeah, that's much better than what I've got, isn't it? Significantly better, in fact. So, let's equip that. And carry on on our way. Um, over on the right of the heads-up display, we can see we've got a red bar, an orange bar, a yellow, and a blue bar. Blue is shield, yellow is armor, red is hull. So, we don't need any repairs at the moment, but... For now, I think I'm done around this particular location. Look how beautiful it is. Stunning looking area, isn't it? We're going to head on over to that uh, star, though, and have a look at that particular area. And off we go. Now, you're free to actually travel there. Take the long form travel like I'm doing here. Or you can actually hold down the R button and skip there pretty much instantly. Which, if you're not into long journeys, is a nice option to have. And here we are up close to the star. Of course it's nice to also travel over and see that star slowly expand as it gets ever closer. We've got another mission here. I do believe these asteroids, this place here, this location, does have some caves within it. But I'm also tempted to check over those other asteroids in the distance. Some of these are pretty large. But unfortunately, a hostile detected. They've shut down our proximity. They've shut down our cruise engine. Where are they? Let's see if we can take them out. No, actually, they weren't that close. Actually, curious to see how much that pulse laser damage does against, uh, against their hulls. Probably a good amount. Right, let's head on over to these other scouts and just randomly explore the area. But one thing that's always nice and that this does share in common with the other original Everspace game is that it's fun to explore. Uh, all the zones in Everspace were always interesting because of that. Right, so this weapon, as good as it is, isn't great with taking down the armour. I wouldn't expect that to be. Right, we've of course got shields as well. Not shields, but missiles. Let's get him in view. And if you're heavily into combat, there's so many different options uh, for this game. We've got different... Uh, functions as well down the bottom like the EMP generator which hopefully there we go see what that did takes 30 seconds to recharge but just wanted to use it there just to give you a indicator of what it actually does actually stunned him And you do have uh, additional modules for your ships, with each with different sorts of functions. Let's try another. Right, we're cloaked. Notice how he stopped shooting us, he can no longer see us. And let's EMP him while we're at it. So if you're heavily into combat, there's so many options here for you. This is actually a much higher level uh, drone than what we've been dealing with so far. The weapons do help. But options 3 and 4 are currently unavailable to me. But you do have different, uh, different abilities on your ship. So then, that hopefully serves as a bit of an indication as what you can expect from the game. If you want to see this all play out in more detail and have me, see me having a look at all the different areas that this particular demo has to offer, then do have a look at my previous videos. I've got another playthrough very similar to this one and also a full live stream video on demand that pretty much covers everything or many of the areas that the demo actually has to offer. There's quite a lot of gameplay there. So it's a very good reflection of what hopefully the game will actually ultimately be. It's something I'm really looking forward to because as you no doubt know I'm a huge fan of Everspace. I regularly play the game here on YouTube and have done so ever since the game was in early access. So Everspace 2 I think is very suited to the open world format and it's nice to see it stepping away from its roguelike roots. 
The Kickstarter page is also linked in the video description, so if you're at all interested, do be sure to go and check that out. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.